Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kelly Manzoni. For today's class, we're still addressing our arm lines. We're gonna need our stick mobility bundle. And if you don't own stick mobility, you could use a PVC pipe, wooden dowel, whatever you have access to. So we need our two long sticks, one short stick, access to ceiling and sidewall. We will be doing some half kneeling, so if you need a towel folded up for your knee or a pillow, have that nearby. And I prefer, if possible, for you to perform class in either a minimalist shoe or barefoot, so you can really feel the connection with the ground. We're gonna start first with our short stick, just warming up our full body here. So we're gonna do like a spinal wave. As we're coming down, we're gonna take the stick chest height and crush the stick. So you're gonna press both hands inward, create a little bit of tension, hip hinge forward with soft knees, inhale, exhale, sweep the arms forward, and they're gonna drive down into the feet, lean back, squeezing the glutes, lifting up and out of the lower spine, and then take another breath, crush the stick, hip hinge, sweep forward, arms up, 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 and back. So nice little warm up, it's a rainy overcast day here so this feels pretty good just to get started so let's do three more crush the stick hip hinge lengthen reach two more deep breath in exhale now i say it in every class i like to diaphragmatically breathe so that would be where you would close the mouth rest the tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose now for the next stretch you're gonna take the stick right up to the upper back. Take the palms, we're gonna have our palms face down. Even though we're working into our arm lines, we're gonna add a few elements of our legs. So the camera flips me, this is my right side, but I'm gonna call it my left. Going into a staggered stance, the left leg is forward. You're gonna take your right big toe to the outside of the heel and then slide out a little bit on a diagonal hip hinging forward, so I'm gonna push down with my flex palms into the stick, hip hinge, and add just a little bit of rotation, that right side coming across to the left, hold for a brief moment, drive up through that left leg, squeeze that glute, come to stand. So we're gonna do two more on the side, hip hinge forward, and then rotate, a little bit of T-spine work here, and again, I'm pushing down with those palms, getting a little work into the front line and T-spine. Hip hinge, come across, pause here for a moment. Inhale, exhale, drive up through that left leg, changing sides. So our right foot is forward. Take the left big toe to the back of that heel. Glide out on that diagonal. Hinge, soft knee, come across. So you may find that one side is a little bit more comfortable than the other. I always like to take kind of some notes on finding like where my sticky points are when I'm doing my stick mobility work. Again, hip hinge forward, come across, just a little bit of a pause here, and then drive up. Taking our stance, we're gonna be a little bit wider than hip width, not exactly a full stick mobility horse stance, but just kind of soften into the knees Close that rib cage. Both of our hips are gonna face forward and I'm gonna twist to the left just a little bit. Come through center, over to the right. Now, again, I say it all the time, don't work into pain, so just be mindful. Inhale, exhale, eyes leave the head. Good, let's do one more on each side. Maybe go a little bit further, but let's keep those hip bones facing forward. Shoulders stay down through center. I feel more limited going to this side. And then back to center, excellent. So release, take your stick forward. We're gonna go into a little bit of kayaking. If you don't have a short stick, you could hold on to a longer stick and have an overhand hold. If you have the short stick, you're gonna squeeze into the stick, park the stick on your right hip and start to kayak forward. So we're just kind of mobilizing our shoulders getting into the T-spine so that we could really access our arm lines in our strength portion of our class today. So eyes forward, breathing. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of 
rotation through the upper body. So you're going to open into the direction that you're rotating. Let's do four more here. One, two, three. On four, park it back onto that right hip, and now we simply reverse our kayak up and back. So it's very similar to backstroking. I've got maybe about 20-30% tension into the stick, right? So I'm driving up with that bottom palm, really reaching back. Now adding just a little bit of rotation, going through the rest of the set here. Excellent. Four more, up and back one, two, three, four. Coming center, I'm going to come out of that horse stance, go into a pendulum. So this is a great priming drill, kayaking into the pendulum. That bicep is in line with the ear at the top, and I'm adding just a little bit of tension, pushing upward into the bottom of the stick. We're going to go for four more here. Up one, two, three, one more, four. Gently release. Extending our arm. So there's a, quite a few articulations in this series. We're just going to go uh, do, perform two of them. I'm going to go on a diagonal here, and I believe this is going to show us my right side as I go on that diagonal. So arm is extended right where your sticker is. Pack that shoulder. When you pack that shoulder, you've got length through the arm. You're going to stay connected to the lat. No rib flare. Stay again in your horse stance. You could take your hand here to keep that connection or to the rib cage, and we're simply going to cast, casting forward like you're fishing. And we're working in through the wrist. Breathe. Let's do three more here. One, two, three. Now take it back and pause. Good. Now stirring the pot working through the wrist, keeping that extended arm. You could lower the arm just a little bit and reverse it and take the arm upward. Now, I don't have high ceilings, so I'm not going as high as I can. If you have higher ceiling, you could take the arm up in line with the bicep, in line with the ear. So we're going outward, on the way up, oops, and inward, counterclockwise, on the way down, and release. You can perform this with the arm extended out to the side too. Great warm up, and it's quite fatiguing. So we're switching over to the left arm now. Pack that shoulder, maintain your alignment, close the rib cage, eyes forward, cast, and draw back. So we're gonna do a few where we're coming neutral, and then we're going to end with a couple where we're going to allow that wrist to come inward. These are actually a great primer that I use for the circular training tools behind me. Now we're going to cast forward and then draw back a little. Good. Cast forward and draw back. Going into stir the pot. So we're going inward and outward. You could, I can't remember what we did on the other side. And it's so funny because this side, my less dominant arm, and the wrist that I have less mobility in, this is the one that always feels a little less comfortable. And inward. Good, just a few more. Take your time. Outward. Ooh, don't wanna hit the ceiling. I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but my son and husband build a lot of Legos, and I have knocked them down before <laughs> in my home space, <laughs> and they're right in front of me. And inward on the way down. Excellent, good. Take a moment, shake out your arms. Now adding on, we're gonna do one more exercise before we uh, transition here. We're gonna go into our shoulder dislocates. Oftentimes, the uh, fingertips leave the stick and people just throw the stick back, compensating. We want to take that compensation pattern out, so you're only going to go to what you are comfortable performing. 
So in our horse stance, I'm going to go on a diagonal here. I want you to pull apart on the stick. And when you pull apart on the stick, you're going to activate that posterior line. Eyes are forward. All fingers stay in contact with the stick. Your chin is nice and neutral. So be mindful if you're jetting the chin forward or dropping the chin down towards your chest. And you only take the arms back to where it is sustainable. And then as the stick comes over the forehead, you're going to crush the stick, push into the stick. Pull apart, eyes forward, draw back, come forward, keep those shoulders down, crush into the stick. Let's perform three more. Pull apart, and then come forward, crush the stick. Good. Two more. Another thing I should have mentioned when I was doing stir the pot, I have a lot of hypermobility in my elbows. And that one is very challenging for me to kind of keep my arms extended. So these drills, even with like the tendency to go too far back in a shoulder dislocate, even though I could go all the way back, it's uh, good to kind of know where you could work your end range, under load, and without load. So the next exercise we're going to do is working into our shoulder girdle, which is obviously an extension of our arms. We're all connected here. And we're going to go into some external uh, shoulder rotation. So the stick, I'm going to be working on my right side. So the left hand has a stick and you're going to take your right palm, flip it up so the thumb and the palm are connected. We're going to take the stick underneath the bicep and pull it gently, not forcibly, uh, across that midline of the body. So take your horse stance, hold here. Again, never working into pain. This is another fantastic drill that I used before I pick up my kettlebells. And in the month of, let's see, what's next? February, March, April, I'll be, uh, we're gonna switch up our theme and there's gonna be some stick mobility and kettlebell blended classes. So I'm super excited about that. So just again, holding, breathing, opposite shoulder relaxed, gently come out of it. Let's do one more here. Hold. Great for racket sports, right? Or pressing. Come neutral. Take a moment, release, shake it out. Taking it to the other side. So we're working that left side. Rotate palm up. Right hand has the stick. And again, you'll feel a difference between your right and left side. If there's any impingements, you'll be able to tell. Hold here, breathe, and then gently release. So we're not doing too long of a hold. Sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I'll hold for like 30 seconds to a minute. And take a moment, gently release. Shake it out. We're gonna go over to the other side. Now, instead of coming across with the front of the body, we're gonna go back. So stick in that right hand. Now it's tucked behind that right shoulder. Pause here, right, get your alignment, and then you're gonna elevate with that bottom left arm coming across. Hold here, and then take a moment, gently release. I'm just gonna add a little bit more height with that hand. There we go. And hold. Breathe. Stay with it. Calm neck. Shoulder is down so you're not hiking it up towards your ear. And release. Excellent. Up and over to the left side. Flip. Stick is behind that shoulder. Elevate. Ease into it. Again, not working into pain. Breathe, draw back. Now, as I come out of it, I'm gonna lengthen my palm up just a little bit, going a little bit deeper into the stretch. I could really feel that right into the rotator cuff, into the shoulder girdle, holding. Four counts, hold one, two, three, and then on four, gently release. That feels so good. Okay, so we're gonna take our short stick to the ground now. Grab your two long sticks. Gonna go on a diagonal here, so a little wider than hip width. 
bottom of the sticks are going to angle in towards you. You're going to extend your arms forward just slightly below your shoulder line. Grip to the ground with the feet. Take a breath. Inhale, exhale, and then you're going to hinge forward. We're going to work into those lats a little bit here too, lengthening those arms. Now, I like to add in a little bit of rotation with the knuckles. So I'm going to kind of corkscrew the knuckles forward. Get a little bit of bicep activation here and push down into the floor. Deep breath in. On your exhale, push into the ground, start to roll up, slide the hands up. And similar to what we started with, we're going to now have our arms a little bit lower, lean back, hold. Again, driving down into the sticks, really opening in through that front line, and then hinge. Reclaim your start position, hold here, and then corkscrew those knuckles. Push into the floor, feel that lat activation, eyes down, breathe into it. Hi, Maggie. And then take a breath, slowly come up, palms slide up, push down into the sticks. You're going to squeeze your glutes, eyes upward towards the ceiling. You can even take the arms out further this time to your side, hold, and then slowly come back up to start. Okay, chest press against the wall. So this is where we need a little bit of leverage to protect furniture. I have a towel here. We're going to step back into a staggered stance. So I'd like you to take your left leg forward first. Have the right leg back behind you, heel flat. Hands now are pushing into the tops of the sticks. We're going to take a moment, length through the back, take those shoulders down away from your ears. As you're driving into the wall with about 30% tension, you're going to start to hinge forward with the upper body and now activate. So push into the wall. You're going to pinch your shoulder blades in towards one another, flex through the palms, Work through the chest, inhale, exhale, stay connected, and return to the start position. We're going to do two more on the side before we switch our staggered stance over to the right. So push, hinge, glide forward, right? Depending on how you feel, you could really take those arms a little bit further back and push into the wall. Maintain that length, hold here, inhale, exhale, slowly come back. Love the way this feels. Okay, let's do one more. Watch your alignment, hinge, eyes are down on that diagonal. Now push into the wall, take a breath, and come to start. Good, let's do three with the right leg forward. Square off that hip line, take a moment, Pack those shoulders, press into the wall, hinge forward, lift the belly off the top of that right thigh, drag, hold, and then inhale, exhale, push, come back to start. Let's do two more before we move on to the next exercise. So you're going to hinge, maybe go a little bit deeper. Now I'm going to go deeper by taking my arms in closer to my body a little bit and push. Slowly, come back to start. Last one. Again, you're going to personalize it for how you're feeling today. Push. I'm going to drop my hands down this time, going deeper. Again, length through that spine. And come back to start. Well done. So our double sticks now are going to the ground. We're going to use them later. Grab hold of your short stick. We're going to go into half kneeling. I'm going to go on a diagonal here. So the left leg I have forward. I'm going to anchor with the ball of the back foot. Take hand to the hip line, right? Find that nice alignment with the tailbone, lighting up the anterior so our core is on. Stick now is at chest height. Eyes forward, slight tuck of that tailbone, that back right glute is on. So we're going to crush the stick, both hands push into the stick. Take a moment, slowly press overhead.
Now, hold at the top. Keep crushing into the stick. From here, pull apart. Activate that into, uh, posterior line. Hold. Keep pulling apart. No rib flare, so keep those ribs in. Now, slowly pull, almost like a lat pull down. Feel the back light up. Pause here. Crush the stick once again. Eyes forward, press nice and slow up overhead. So I've done this at the gym before where I've taken a resistance band around the stick, add a little bit of tension, it's an awesome drill. Pull apart, chin neutral, hold for a moment. Find that mid trapezius, light it up, and pull, activate the back. Excellent. We're going to do one more with a slight forward. Crush the stick. About 70%, 80% of your strength. Really slow. Keep pressing. Breathe. You should be shaking a little bit. Once those arms are lengthened, activate. Pull apart. Watch your position. And start to slowly lower back down. Right in line with the shoulders in front of the chest and release. Excellent. Take a moment, shake it out. Pivot. Our right leg is forward, left leg is back. Slight tuck of that tailbone. Proud chest. Crush the stick. Take it up overhead. Watch the alignment with the hips. So I've seen in the past clients start to fatigue and drop the hip out to the side. So maintain your position throughout. We got two more Crush the stick, press, breathe. Eyes forward, chin neutral, pull apart. Work through that mid back, keep pulling. Arm line nice and strong, crush the stick once again, last one. Begin to press up overhead. Pause, now pull, nice and slow, 80%. Keep pulling, breathe, stay with it, and release. Great, okay, just gonna quickly grab a sip of water here. Want to add a little bit of element uh, of our legs into the mix here. And we're gonna go into shin box, adding a front press. Now, if shin box bothers you to come out of your press, I'm excuse me, to come up and out of shin box, you could just hold in the shin box position as we press and pull. Also, if this is uh, slightly uncomfortable for you, if you're getting a cramp in your hip, you could take a pillow or that towel and sit on it. So we have the right side forward, left leg wrapped back behind us. Stick now is at chest height and we're going to crush the stick and press the arms out as we come out of the shin box. We're gonna do three on each side. So we're shoulder height, wrists in line with the elbows. Take a moment, slight uh, squeeze into the stick, come up and out, press. Pull apart and slowly lower at the same time. Crush into the stick, press the arms out, pause, pull apart, slowly lower. We have one more on this one. We're going to add a little bit of rotation through the upper body. Crush the stick, start to extend the arms. Now keeping the crush, you're going to twist, rotate that upper body to your right. Now pull apart, Come through center and slowly lower. Well done. Changing sides. So we have our left leg forward, right leg back. Again, if you need to sit on the pillow or towel, by all means, please do. And we just have three reps here. Stick at chest height, squeeze, inhale, exhale, slowly come up, extend the arms, pull apart, activate that anterior line. Simultaneously, 
you're drawing the arms in as you lower. Crush. Come up, squeeze into that glute, send that hip forward, pull apart, and gently lower. On this next one, we're adding that rotation through the torso. Crush, push into the stick, inhale, exhale, lengthen those arms, keep the crush, rotate to the left. Breathe. As you come through center, pull apart and draw that stick inward, gently lower. Great work. Okay, we're going to come down for a little bit of core exercises here, going into dead bugs. So, let me just kind of find a good spot. Before we go into extended legs, I just like to always start with an isometric hold. So, <clears throat> we're going to take our feet, flex them, ankles in line with the knees, knees above the hip line. You could have your head elevated or your head down because I'm talking to the camera. I'm going to keep my head elevated. So. Before we even move, you don't want this huge arc, your natural arc in your uh, spine. We want to take the navel, draw it in, slight tuck, immediately, boom, those core muscles are on. I'm going to flex the palms or push the hands forward into the thighs and then the thighs forward into the stick. Hold here and breathe. So I have my timer going. We're going to hold for five more seconds. I just kind of want to wake up that front line. Almost there. And release. Take a moment. You're going to windshield wiper the knees. Eyes lead in the opposite direction. Okay. Now, adding on, have your setup just like we did. So ankles in line with the knees, knees above the hip line, feet flexed. You could also do this isometric hold with like a yoga block between your thighs or a small ball. Now we're going to squeeze, push into the stick, lengthen the right leg, inhale, exhale, slowly draw that leg back in and then lower the left, keep that connection, inhale, exhale, take it back in. So these are basic, but quite challenging, especially when you do them correctly. And again, your head could be elevated or down, depending on how you feel. Lengthen that right leg, push, 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 pull, slowly draw it back in, keep that connection. Last one, left leg lowers, drive up, draw it in, and gently release. Knees to one side, head to the opposite direction. Little wiper. Good. We're gonna go into quadruped position into our bird dog. So we're going to activate again using our arm line here. I'm going to go on a diagonal. The stick is in my left hand and I'm going to angle the bottom of the stick inward towards me. When I'm looking down on the ground here, my bicep is in line with the ear. This right hand is below my right shoulder, knees below the hip line. Now you could take top of the feet down or you could anchor with the balls of your feet, personal choice. So angling in, I'm going to drive down into the stick right now with about 60% tension, 50 to 60. I really want to feel that. Lighting up that front line and then extending the right leg back. That right foot is flexed, toes are facing down so you're nice and parallel with that right foot with the knee and the thigh. And then I'm pushing, driving again down into the floor with that left arm. Staying nice and squared so you're not sinking into that inside left hip. Now, elevate that left arm. Hold here, breathe. Hold four counts. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four, gently lower the stick gently lower the knee. Now you could always advance that uh, bird dog by having that inside knee elevated. Today I'm keeping the knee down. So we're transitioning over to the other side. The stick is now in the right hand. <clears throat> Bicep in line with the ear, left palm below that shoulder line. 
Take a moment to find your position, lift the belly. Now, I'm going to lengthen that left leg. I'm driving down into that right stick, really feeling that connection. Notice if you're shifting your body weight, flex that foot, push. Breathe. Now elevate that right arm. Hold that stick where it is, keep it nice and still. Squeeze and engage that left glute, hold four counts, hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four, lower. Good. Now I remember, gosh, maybe it's about five years ago, doing the stick mobility certification out in uh, San Jose. And working on the clock system uh, in a quadruped position, one of my favorite drills, and I still use this, um, is going from like 12 o'clock, you know, and working your way out to the side to three or nine o'clock, driving down into the stick. I don't have a ton of time left, but I did wanna kind of add this in since it's the last class that I'm teaching for uh, this month. So we're gonna go back over to the left side in our quadruped position. And we are uh, familiar with driving down in that front, let's say 12 o'clock, right? So lift the belly. I want you to push down into the floor. Feel that connection, right? Maintain that nice arm length, hold, breathe. We're just gonna do three on each side. Now, I like to hold this for about 10 seconds, really driving down into the floor. So we have a couple of seconds left. Now, you're gonna elevate and go out on a diagonal. Adjust, find your line, angle the bottom of the stick inward, and really push down into the floor. 70, 80% of your strength, you should be trembling. Breathe, keep driving down. So I'm looking at my timer, we've got about five seconds left and then we're gonna take the arm directly out to our side. Good, elevate, now directly out to the side. Stay nice and centered with your body weight and push, breathe. Keep that arm extended. Now I know it might look funky on this side, my arms are shaped like boomerangs and with my hyper mobile elbows. <laughs> Try to maintain that length, stay with it, almost there and recover. And now what you could do is also work your way back to 12 o'clock. Love these. So you get that full arm activation, packing the shoulder, you get into that lat, you feel that uh, through the anterior line too. So going over to the other side, right arm, angle the bottom of the stick inward, Anchor with balls of the feet, you could also do top of the feet down. So plantar flex or dorsiflex, whatever you're comfortable with, right? Find your position and activate, push. Now this is my dominant arm and immediately I feel a little bit more connected. On the left, it feels a little bit muted. Now I know I'm saying that this is uh, the right arm here. So push, hold, almost there. Should be shaking a bit. Don't hold your breath. Neck should be nice and relaxed. Lift, out on a diagonal. Again, push. About 70, 80% of your strength. Again, you're not holding your breath, you're breathing. Almost there. Excellent. Lift the stick right out to the side, right? Drive down, maintain that nice length through the arm, lift the belly, stay connected. Last five seconds on the clock, breathe, 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 and recover. Well done. Okay, we made it to our stretching portion. So take a second, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna come to stand and then we're gonna finish on the ground. So now that we really worked our upper body, I'm gonna start to wind down with some bow and arrow. Love bow and arrow. So we're taking bow and arrow to our right side, slightly wider than hip width, connect to the feet. Bottom right hand is gonna find the sticker, top left hand 
palm faces forward with the thumb down. Say it all the time, but in your bow and arrow, we really want to stretch down into our lateral lines into the hips. So you're going to press out with the hips first and then follow through with the upper body second. So the stick is about maybe three inches out from the midline of your foot. Hips out first, arms second. Scoop that tailbone under. This top left arm, I got a little bit of leverage here. Now, your inside right shoulder shouldn't be hiked up towards the ear. Take it down, good. Now hold, and then if you wanna work a little bit into that front line, you're gonna take your right hip, rotate it slightly forward, get underneath the stick, and look upward towards the ceiling. Breathe. Stay with it, four counts. Almost there. Good. And slowly work your way out of the bow and arrow. God, I love that exercise. Okay. Stick is now over to the left, right hand, thumb down, palm forward, bottom left hand at the hip line. Hips out first, upper body second. Stay squared at first as you're kind of adapting to the stretch. And then, again, gripping the ground with the feet, squeezing the glutes. You could go a little deeper, taking that left hip, slight rotation forward, and then angle, look upward towards the ceiling. Breathe here, four counts, you're still. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four, slowly come out of your bow and arrow. We're gonna grab our second long stick now, and take a moment, heel toe out safely so you kind of protect your hips, because we didn't do too much with our hips today, even though we got into a shin box. Hands, or excuse me, bottom of the sticks, right in the arch of the feet. Now, I'm gonna take my right arm across, and as I bend and shift my body weight into the left knee, or excuse me, my right knee, I'm gonna take that top arm inward towards my body. So this top left arm is coming inward, bottom right arm across. Just to add a little bit deeper of a front line arm stretch along with getting into our T-spine, hold here. Slowly come out of the stretch and let's go back in it. That right arm is gonna come across. I'm gonna bend and shift into that right knee, lean into that side and pulling the left arm in. And I'm driving down into those sticks. You could do a couple of neck articulations while you're here. And then take a moment, slowly come out of the stretch and we're gonna transition. So now that left arm is coming across to the right. I'm gonna to start to lean into the left side, drawing that top right arm in close. Little neck articulation here. Pulling my body weight back instead of going into the toes, into the ball of foot, I'm keeping that foot nice and flat. Good. Slowly come out of it. Take a breath. Let's go back in it. Take it across, good. Hold, push down into the sticks. A Little bit of an articulation through the neck. Looking upward towards the ceiling and downward towards the floor. And then slowly come out of it. Sticks forward and heel toe in. Okay, now we're gonna go into an arm bar. Love this drill. So I'm gonna use my side wall here. Whoa, might have to take my dumbbell out of the way. My vintage dumbbell, I love that thing. Okay, so using the Slater log for leverage, I'm gonna come down. I'll demonstrate first, and then you could follow suit. So we are going to Get into the position here. This is my right side. I'm using my palm, pushing into the outside of the stick. Right leg is bent here. 
and we're going into a primer for the kettlebell arm bar which obviously works the front line uh, all the way down the arm line into our shoulder girdle into our t-spine and a little bit into our hip so from here i'm going to push down into my right foot to create that roll at the same time my left arm is going to start to slide upward in line with the ear and i'm going to use my left ear uh, excuse me left my left bicep as like a pillow for my my left ear okay so squeezing the glute activate push into the foot my bicep is going to be the pillow for my ear and then i'm going to rotate my right hip all the way down modification you could bend that right knee having the heel in line with the knee i like to take my hips all the way down good hold here push into the wall stay with it and then we're slowly going to reverse coming out of it let's do one more on this side before we transition so again length through that left leg right knee is bent left arm is out to the side on a diagonal push rotate that hip down and hold here for four counts hold one hold two hold three and on four you simply slide that left hand down as you slide and bend that right knee and reverse come out of it now we're going to go to the other side just make sure you have some space okay so you got to line yourself up we have that left hand arm extended you're using and again anchoring with that side wall drive down through that left foot so as you start to push down into the foot you activate that glute that right hand's going to slide up leg can be bent so here's bent again i like to rotate the hip all the way down sorry i was not in the right position there as i was transitioning hold here push into the wall four counts you're still hold one hold two hold three and then to come out of it simply start to bend that top left knee slide that right hand down and reverse come out of it so i apologize i know i'm turning my head away from the camera i hope you can hear me so we're going to do one more push down activate start to slide roll and push into the wall breathe stay with it hold here four counts hold one hold two hold three now on four begin to bend that top left knee reverse that roll and come to your start position good okay we have one more exercise to finish class I've done this the last couple of classes. I did get feedback that people absolutely loved it. So we're just gonna do two on each side. We're gonna come to our side. This is my left foot. I'm gonna push the top of the stick into the top of my left foot. And then my right leg is bent. It's gonna be underneath the stick. So this is how we're gonna kind of leverage so we could work into our arm line and into the T-spine. So I like pairing the arm bar with this uh, T-spine drill. So we're flexed, arm crush the stick, top hand. My eyes are going to leave the head. Your head could stay on the ground. You could use that pillow if needed and reach as far back as you can comfortably. Again, not working into pain. Hold here for a moment. Stay with it. Close your eyes if you'd like, just kind of melt into the stretch. And then slowly reverse it. Now, on the second one here, we're going to do that big arm sweep. Eyes are going to lead the head, and arm is going to sweep up 
and back and around. Let the top of the hand rest on the floor. Breathe, stay with it, four counts. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and then on four, simply reverse coming out of it. And we're gonna go to the other side. Love that one. Okay, so we have left leg on top, flex that right foot, place the stick on top of the foot, lengthen that top right arm. Now, open, hi Maggie. Let that palm come down to the floor, reach, stretch. Remember not to hold your breath, so breathe into it. And then slowly come out of it. I don't know if I have enough room to be the big arm sweep, but remember, you're gonna really reach. So eyes leave the head. Let me make a little fist as I come across. And allow that top of the hand to reach for the floor. Look in that direction. Close your eyes for a moment. Melt into the stretch. We're gonna hold four counts. Hold one, two, three, and on four, our finish, reverse, slowly come out of the stretch and release the hold on the stick. Take a moment, slowly come up. So thank you everybody for joining me for today's class. I will be back in, what is it? February, March, April. I'll be back in April pairing stick mobility with kettlebell drills. Take care. Oh, and by the way, if you'd like, you could check out the Movement Made Better podcast. Neil and Dennis have amazing conversations with incredible guests. And this class, along with all the others and tutorials, are on YouTube. And I am at KellsBells88 on Instagram. Please feel free to reach out with any feedback you may have. Have a great day. See you soon.